You guys know what Kendri there is, right? There's some rich people like, what is this, a spa? You guys, it's a government school. It barely qualifies as a school. Barely. Like, they have rooms that resemble classrooms. Oh, man. Yeah, so it had a, we had a lovely curriculum in KB called CBSE. It's so depressing, CBSE that the only thing we look forward to is discussing marks. <laughs> See, people show off like, hey bro, I got 88%. Like, yeah, I got 90%, bro. And one person like, I got 94. <laughs> got 94? Yeah, I do state syllabus. Hey, state! Uh! <laughs> Get out, man! And then one guy will come and be like, I got uh, 95, I do ICC. Oh, you, go buy it. Okay, thank you, we'll leave. You will pay for your bill, just... ICSE, who did ICSE? Oh my god, you guys are sorted for life, okay? While we were learning addition and subtraction, you were learning how to send Mars rovers. I don't know, what retarded curriculum they have. Oh my god, it's scary. And obviously, uh, in, uh, in KV, they do a lot of torture techniques uh, to slowly break you down as a child. The first thing is called morning assembly. Morning assembly is this phenomena where you put kids in the sun, roast them to light medium brown. Make sure they turn brown. And they make the guys stand in ascending order of insecurities. Shortest, least self-confident guy goes in the first. Genetically gifted tall guy who's good looking will do well in life in the back. If you're gonna play with it, make a stand and decline. No. <laughs> hey, you're also too small. Yeah, correct. Sorry. <laughs> While you're at it, just, just. They make sure that everyone does not have a sense of individualism. They're making sure everybody wears the same uniform. And there's, there's the wicked death eater of the morning assembly, the person who checks if you're wearing a uniform correctly. <laughs> Damn asshole. No kid should be given so much power. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, Macha, I'm not wearing the belt. <laughs> Don't worry, just pull your shirt like this. He'll never check. Yeah, no. I'll just pull it like this, he won't check. And suddenly he goes and he's like, he fuck it, he just go like, oh, he'll pass you and like, and then you stop. <laughs> I love the pledge. We used to always wait for someone to screw it up. <laughs> India is my country. Yeah, keep going, keep going. You fuck up. 10 rupees bol raha, he'll break in the middle. All Africans are my brothers. See, he screwed up. <laughs> no one got it right. I still can't get it right. Like, I've heard it every day for 12 years. And then, yeah, so there are torture techniques that uh, teachers use. Uh, so there was this teacher called Prasad, sir. I still call him sir because I'm afraid he'll come and hit me from somewhere. I'll just check if he's not here. Because Prasad, sir, used to do this thing. So there's a proper high Hitler thing in school. You just, good morning, teacher. After a point, it wasn't about respect anymore. He was like, don't hit me, teacher. So Prasad, sir, you obviously had a nickname. Every teacher has a nickname, right? Because we can't respect it. <laughs> Only when I grow up, I realize how tough it is to be a teacher. Well, let's go back to as a kid. So, doc, so Pratad sir used to call him James Bond. Because he used to wear shades. And he used to have like slick back hair, full perfectly gelled. I think he gelled with the tears of the children. <laughs> Just... Freshly gelled. 
and he used to try to catch us. Like, we didn't even like mess up. He used to make sure we mess up. So he used to like enter suddenly into the room, and all of us will be ca caught by surprise, and someone who's not standing will get caught. So what we used to do in the between the class, we have five minutes of like freedom, right? Of just pure freedom. Teacher leaves like, nah, we're, we're just chilling, and all of us are smart. Like we used to keep one leg distance from our desk. We used to chill like this. Teacher comes in, good morning, sir. So we prepared, but there'll be one, two idiots who like in the back are like, and then 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 and now his weapon of choice was the duster. <laughs> All you rich folks will be like, oh, it's a big deal with the duster, Kenny. A duster in Kendra Vidalia. I'm just thinking, if I was a duster manufacturer, what is the material I would use? When I know the duster is going to be around children. I'm sure they had a board meeting, right? They would have discussed this, right? So what do you think we should use for the duster? I don't know, you recommend. Wooden nails? <laughs> Perfect, let's manufacture it for all the Kendra Vidalias. So Prasad sir took that duster and he's about to throw it at me. And Arjun started shivering. Because Prasad sir has bad aim. <laughs> so Arjun is like, mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. he takes. The duster throws it, obviously hits Arjun. But I have to react, I'm like, oh! Oh, I can totally imagine how that feels. Don't throw it again. Uh, I, th I think the worst thing about that getting punished was exams, man. I just don't know why we did exams. I don't see the purpose of it, but it is important, children. It is important, exams are important. If you don't do well in exams, you'll end up like me. Happy. So do it. Don't do exams. So, you know, like some eighth fail or anything, I have an undergrad, okay? Don't worry. I have a degree in painting, okay? It's a, it's a degree. It's a degree physics girl, organic chemistry masters. It is a degree. I painted for four years and did sculpture, okay? It's cool. <laughs> the only thing I learned from painting college is that all the paintings are contemporary. Just that's it. That's a secret. You go to art museum, you don't know what to say. Contemporary, like it. It's all right. So anyway, worst thing was exams. Because in exams anyway, you know you're gonna fail, right? And you study, but you write the exam, and you come back home, and your parents are so sweet, they really care. They're like, how was the exam? Oh, fantastic! I think I'll get 95. Maybe I'll lose one mark for handwriting. I don't know, chill. And then you get the paper, and obviously, like, I got 14 or something. <laughs> I'm coming to terms with it. I'm coming to terms with it and I'm like, okay, got 14. Probably get slapped once or twice. It's okay, it's cool. You can manage it. Just work harder for the next one. And then the teacher gives you this false sense of hope. If there are any calculation mistakes. You can easily get 80 marks. And I have the audacity to go compare my paper with the class topper. <laughs> Bro, give your paper, Nada. How much you got? 95, huh? what do I have it? It's same, only, da. <laughs> only last is, uh, last answer is wrong. At least you get uh, seven marks for method, no? <laughs> so go back to the teacher. And he puts you in your archive. Like, sir, I have to get two marks for what? I have to get five more marks, eh? Take this paper, put up your ass and fuck off. <laughs> and then, the hottest girl in class goes up to the teacher and this weird thing happens. I just look back to it now and it is pretty weird. It's like, sir, I got 98. I need to get one more mark, sir. So, 
That's when I realized what sexual tension was. I said, why is the room getting so hot suddenly? I'm so used to give it. It was so creepy. He's a middle-aged man. So next time when I went for a date, which is okay, Kenny, I'm like, oh, calculation mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Just watch us bubble.